It's Tasty Soundbites, and I am back with another review. However, before we get started with these, I do have a little bit of an announcement. I have recently gotten VR, so I will be doing, I will be uploading those videos once I figure out how to get my mic to work. I uh, also am acknowledging that I have not been posting video very many videos lately. That will be changing hopefully very soon, once again, once I get my mic fi situation figured out. But, uh... After this review, the next thing that I should be reviewing is a pair of custom Converse that are going to be coming in here soon. Um, after that, I hopefully will have a very big review on order. Stay tuned for that. If you uh, want to see more updates on everything as well as photos that I take, I recommend checking out the uh, description section down below. I will be including my Instagram for more information and for more content. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this review. Uh, before me, I have the 12th Doctor's Touch Control Sonic Screwdriver as well as the uh, TARDIS mug set. Uh, if you see that set on Amazon for like 55 American dollars, uh, with the touch control and the, uh, mug, it is, it is real. I have it before me. Uh, as you can see with the mug, I already have a, have it outside of its box, and I have a bunch of sonic screwdrivers in there, as well as a my uh, cross review with this. I'll get into that here in a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the screwdrivers I have in the mug thus far. You can hear it's a pretty nice mug. It is a very nice mug. The lid just settles on top. However, I don't like how rickety it is. I am not going to use this as a mug. I'm going to use it as a sonic screwdriver jar. If you haven't tell, uh, if you couldn't tell already, uh, these paint apps do feel a little flimsy. I doubt that it's dishwasher safe. I saw nowhere on the box that it is dishwasher safe, so I'm not going to dishwash this. In fact, I'm not just going to use it at all. So there's the mug, but the reason why I got this set was specifically for this. My first ever sonic screwdriver was in fact this touch control sonic screwdriver. I have already opened it to make sure that it's the right one. Yes, there are such things as fake sonic screwdrivers. This one, and I will give my uh, review of that towards the end. Uh, on the box we have the 12th Doctor touch control sonic screwdriver, the standard uh, Doctor Who logo? I wouldn't say that it's that, that, I, I believe this is one of the various logos. I don't know for certain. Uh, for the 12th Doctor's era. Uh, warning, not for children under three. Choking hazard because of this. Removable power core. Uh, touch activation. Electronic lights and sounds. Five and up. Uh, spring-loaded extending action. It's got a picture of the TARDIS over here. Uh, on the back, it's got all the legal stuff, instructions, etc., etc. I have already opened this, so I have, I've already un undone the tape. So. Sliding that out. I love the instruction manuals. Specifically, this little piece of paper. Because down at the bottom it says that it has the ability to alter radio frequencies. So basically it's in a way it's saying yes this can actually do what it's supposed to. I love sonic screwdriver instruction manuals. Anyways, uh, it comes cased in this uh, plastic. I did not miss this bit. There we go. Just gonna 
slide that back in if the instruction manual will let me do so. Put the lid back on and just set that back there. And here we have the 12th Doctor's Touch Control Sonic Screwdriver. You may notice that there is only a single button on the handle. That's because the electronics are uh, touch-based, uses the feeling of your finger. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and, and start by collapsing the Sonic. And starting from the emitter. The emitter is a nice green transparent plastic. Uh, the silver section, all of it is plastic, or at least most of it. There are some bits of metal hardware, but anyways, the claws are sculpted nicely. The cage section, it does not twist because the battery compartment is down here. Uh, that's what I liked most about the 11th and the earlier 12th Doctor screwdrivers. Um... There also is no wiggle of the cage, like uh, the metal ones typically do. The knurling is okay, I guess, for being plastic. Uh, the inaccuracies of this are astounding. There should be brass rivets here and here. There should be no screw here, but it's a toy. Moving down from here, we get to the collar waist or grip and this ring here molded nicely even with the uh, even mimicking the stitching this button releases the this bit I did not miss on the fake one that I have it does not catch like this at all as you can see Uh, if it ever does get stuck, just flick the claws. Um, inside here is the core, where you can clearly see the spring and the wires. Um, no swirl at all. However, they did replicate a, bra a copper ring there in the middle of the core. Come on, focus. The spring is quite strong in this one compared to my other one. I will do that com uh, comparison here soon. The handle section. Also the reason why, why I got my other one. I hate the obvious battery compartment. I'm sure they would have been able to do the touch control if doing the same method as the other one. However, they did not. It's okay, though. This one has the proper sound chip. Moving on down to the pommel. That is also sculpted nicely. There is no removable... Or there is a removable end cap. Uh, there is no the, 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 the button. There's no button. However, this version has the removable power core. My, I still have the power core from my first Sonic. Uh, I wish... I should have dug out the old one for this. The sculpting is actually pretty nice. It is transparent, so... It's made of the same plastic as the emitter. It doesn't do anything. It's just a static... It's just static. It doesn't do anything. It's just there. All you need to do is just slide it back in and it doesn't go anywhere. Now turning to uh, electronics and features, obviously, it extends. Oh, here we go. Just fixes it, no problem. Uh, unlike the other versions of this sonic screwdriver, there is no button. That is because there is, if you place your finger here and place one finger here, It is touch controlled. 
Uh, as you can hear, it has a the standard Smith sound chip, the same one that Nick Robata uses for his replicas. Lights up nicely. Although on the uh, prop itself, it only lights up the tip, but it's a toy. Um, just like the other toys, if you double, if you press, you probably heard it. If you, this the secret sounds. I'm stuttering on my words. One, two, three. It gives you that. broken sound oh there we go yeah it gives you that broken sound effect i believe two gives you this which is actually a screen used sound in uh closing time i believe where matt smith points his sonic i've got an app for that sonic's the uh cyber matt I missed this sound chip because I, I love that sound. I missed the altering. I missed this sound effect. I missed the sound effect in general. But uh, that's it for this one's features uh, bringing in my comparison this is my fake one I've done my research the 12th doctor single button version does not have those sounds in it uh, you can tell that the uh, paint apps the copper is darker here than it is here Neuralink's very much the same uh, you can tell that the emitters are different. This one's, the fake one's more solid. Uh, the real one's claws hold a little tighter. Uh, the grip section is nicer on the touch control. There is no battery compartment on the fake one. Fake one also does not have a. Uh, the pommel has no features whatsoever. The fake one does not have any issues with the claws. You can see where the differences are. Uh, battery compartments are access. Battery compartment is accessed down here. Just like that. Uh, another issue with the fake one is that it doesn't sometimes, so gotta be kind of rough. Uh, ah, jeez. I knew that was gonna happen. Ah, now my stand's all screwed up. Okay, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Anyways, as I was saying, the comparison between the emitters, the real one lights up like that, the fake one lights up like that. It's not nice. <laughs> That's really it for the differences. And that is the end of my review of the 12th Doctor Touch Control Sonic Screwdriver and the TARDIS mug. Keep an eye out on the channel. I will be doing more reviews here soon as well as uploading, hopefully, some VR videos for you guys. Because keep in mind, this channel is not just reviews, it is a little bit of everything. Uh, more of a video dump. 
so I will keep you guys updated on my Instagram, which I will leave in the description. If you like the video, go ahead and like. If you like me, go ahead and subscribe. And until the next video, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.